Hey there guys, so today I'm going to show you guys what is LLMMR poisoning and how can we let the victim to pass the hash to us. So in this video we will contain first we use responder to let the victim to pass the hash and then we use rsmongler to generate our custom word list by getting all the information what we found over there and then we use John the Reaper to crack it and we use PSESang to get our shell. So, we check out the LMR poisoning this diagram first. First, the victim entered the wrong host name and it will ask the DNS server, hey, can you connect me to this host name? So, the DNS server will reply it and say, I have no idea what you are talking about because the DNS server doesn't have any mapping that map this host name to any IP, right? So, the DNS server don't know what is it. And then the victim will just broadcast the message to everyone else and ask, hey, does anyone know how to connect to this host name or not? And you, as a man in the middle over here, the hacker, will reply it and say, I do, send me the hash and I will connect you. So the victim just fall into this LMMR poisoning, this attack, and it will pass the hash to you. So this is how, basically how it works. And we check over here, we try out the practical part, see how can we do that. Okay, first we specify our interface, okay, we specify this. And then over here, we are listening the event already. So over here, I have a Windows Server machine as a victim over here. We open this one. Let's make an example. We go to the wrong host name, like nowhere. Okay. So now over here, as you can see that the user tester over here just send the hash to us. This pass the hash to us. And this hash is an NTLM v2 hash. And the IP is for it is this one. This is the domain name for it. So we got all the user information already. Now we need to crack it. But first, we need to save the hash first. We save it like this. Okay. And then we need to use RSMongler to generate some word list. Okay, so before that we need to gather some user information first. Okay, like in this case, we know the user is tester, right? Probably the credential might contain tester this word. And then it's using a Windows machine, right? So we save it like this. Okay, we close it. RS Mongolo. File user info. Output file. Will be word list. So we save it like this. And as you can see that over here I have a user info file that has two lines only. But using RS Mongolo, we check out the word list. We got 1777 line line for it over here. So RSMonger will help us to generate all the possible credentials over here. Okay, so now we launch our join the Reaper. Okay. And the word list will be this one. And we pass the hash into it. Okay, as you can see that when we crack it, we just found the password for this Windows 7 machine. And it shows that this is a Win Windows 7 Tester 2018. This is the password for it. Okay, so now we copy this one, right? We go back to here. This is a MSF console. We're going to use this one to get our shell over here. So first we need to find the PSE stack first. So we're going to use the exploit, Windows 7. Windows, exploit, Windows. Where is the PSE stack? Yeah, yeah this is the one. Okay, so I'm gonna use this one. And then we check out over here, we set our R host, which is the victim IP, right? The IP will be this one. Okay, set the SMB user. The SMB user will be tester. Set the SMB pass. Okay, this is the password that we found over here that we use John the Ripper to crack it. Okay, so we need to set the payload first. The payload I'm going to use Windows Meter Printer, and this one I'm going to specify it as Reverse TCP. Okay, so now we launch our S1. Okay, over here, we execute the payload. Now, we just got our Meter Printer shell over here as an anti authority system user. So, just separate it out. Okay, so I'll let you guys to see over here. Okay, so 
Now we have gained full access on the victim machine, right? So over here, let's make an example like we drop into the shell first. We execute a command like shut down and then T I will make it the timeout will be five. And command ho ho ho. So now as you can see that we can execute the command remotely on the Windows 7 machine over here and the Windows 7 machine just shut down already so that's how we can abuse this LMMR poisoning to let the victim to pass the hash to us and we can just crack it and find, figure out what's the password for this hash and we can use PSEsec to execute the system command to own this uh, victim machine so that's how LMMR poisoning works so that's all for my video, thanks guys, bye bye